So here today, we're just, uh, zoom that in a little bit. Uh, we did some maintenance on the trucks today, and uh, pretty much about it. Uh, we had to, we dug across the road on a job here, and we, uh, so we met the black toppers out there this morning, and they re-black re topped our ditch line. Uh, I didn't take no video of that or anything. But then, uh, so today, uh, did some maintenance after that, and on the trucks, and then, uh, what we're doing now is he's going over there, he's got to straighten up some of our dirt piles we got there. And uh, we're going to sell a couple loads of filled dirt here. So he's just going to load some of that up here real quick. A couple loads and take it down and then drop it off. But uh, so I figure it's been a little while since I posted a video. Uh, so I figure we'll get a little video of here of him running the hoe down there. And uh, so we've been busy. We just, I just haven't taken the time to take any videos. We got uh, a couple little sand piles down there that he's wanting to try to keep separate. Not get it all mixed in. Actually, that's, uh darker pile there that's actually a pile of black top chippings and then uh, over here we can see the white stuff that's just a pile of odd and end mixed uh, bricks uh, ones and two slag uh, stuff like that actually I'm taking some of that this weekend and uh, gonna put it on I bought some property and I'm putting a just a little short access drive because right now there's no access to the property we do that this weekend, so I'll take a video of that and po post that as well. So, but, but we don't always keep, we try not to keep too much filled dirt here, but we always, always keep enough. Um, that way, like I said, every once in a while we sell some. I, I filled a swimming pool there a while back where I, you know, brought all the filled dirt from down here, you know, sold it to the guy. Um, you know, and all this dirt. It's just excess dirt that we uh, get from our jobs, and then uh, the township and then the county we live in, every once in a while they'll dump dirt down here when we have room. So. Actually, where we're taking this dirt we're selling is just about half a mile down the road here. So, we've already we did a job where uh, we had three loads extra. And uh, so, when we instead of dumping them here, we dumped them straight at this guy's house when we hauled them out. We did just do a hauling job. Uh, uh, the guy had a landscaper uh, fill in his backyard. He had some trees in there he took out, and then he wanted to raise the elevation because it was all wet, and he had a lake that butted up against it then. And uh, so the landscaper took the trees out. He didn't strip no topsoil, and then they hired us to haul them dirt. Uh, we hauled them in around 300 ton of fill dirt, and they spread it out. And then they said, "Well, what are we going to do for planting grass?" Well, that's because you didn't strip the topsoil first. You know, that's kind of rule number one, at least around here. You always strip topsoil to put back on it. That way, you're not buying it. Well, so instead of digging it back off or anything, which I don't think I would have, uh, the uh, homeowner ended up buying it. So they hired us again and uh, we uh, hauled in about 230 ton of topsoil just to uh, and that just basically gave them about 
two inches or so of topsoil to get grass growing. So they weren't real happy, but you know, when you don't hire somebody uh, that's right for the job, those kind of things happen. So, you know, if we would have hired us, come in there, took the trees out, we, I would have stripped the topsoil for them and uh, hauled the fill. Hey, we're back. Some uh, my, The camera on my phone here quit. Probably too long. But anyhow, so yeah, so I would have stripped the topsoil and uh, filled it in, then spread his topsoil back out, and he would not have been buying it. It would cost him uh, about probably $3,000 less. So... But live and learn. So, well, I think he's getting uh, pretty close to getting ready to start loading us here. I'll walk back over here to the truck. We're just going to halt down in this tandem dump truck here. Just a little straight truck here. It, uh, so, we're only going half mile down the road, so he'll probably put about 15 on it. And, so. Close video. Getting buckets and throwing them in the bed. good dirt though that well the dirt he's digging in that pile we had it separated the better stuff from the worst stuff Thank you. 